Hi, welcome back. This is Ken. Uh, today we're going to be making a little bit of silicone foam from silicone caulk. And uh, I consider this to be a, a jumping off point. Uh, and a lot of experiments can be done based on what I'm going to show you today. Uh, first of all, uh, let me let me go over the. Uh, I'm doing this a little differently. I'm going to show the finished product uh, ahead of time, so that you can decide whether or not you want to uh, continue watching the video and uh, pursue this. Uh, I'm not into wasting people's time, so this is uh, basically what it looks like. So this is standard formula uh, and you don't have to remember any of this because right after the video all the instructions and materials and everything else the amounts are uh, very clearly spelled out for you so so this is uh, and I'm not wearing the gloves for uh, toxicity because these are not toxic but I'm going to be working with silicone shortly and I tend to get it all over my hands and I don't like that but this is a pretty uh, this is just a free form that I poured out onto some Teflon and these are two of the same one that I dyed with pigment uh, from Tap Plastics in California, uh, uh, ball milled pigment, uh, but these were cast in the polystyrene cups. But you can see they're they're quite uh, quite springy. Both of them are are fairly uh, the same, so. It works. The standard formula is a, a good place to start. And then I have one that is a uh, low viscosity silicone, which I'll uh, describe at the very, very end of the video. Uh, and this is one that I did uh, with citric acid in place of the vinegar uh, and it's more like a, a memory foam so the whole process is very very interesting uh, the intrinsic value of the poly, uh, cured poly uh, siloxane is uh, about 27 uh, on the shore A thermometer scale uh, which is somewhere between the hardness of uh, a rubber band and a pencil eraser. So it's it's fairly... Uh, the, the, cured, the cured siloxane is really uh, pretty, pretty uh, stable and it has all the other qualities to the UV uh, old out as the uh, water resistance uh, and just has so, so many good qualities. Silicone just makes a really good uh, uh, material to work with. So that's why I chose uh, this particular one. So it's a, about a 27 on the Shore A uh, durometer scale and uh, that worked uh, that worked out fairly well. So uh, I'm gonna take a a short pause and uh, <clears throat> I'll make a uh, I'll have everything set up so we'll go quickly through the foam uh, how to make it and uh, you won't have to remember anything because it's all after the video <clears throat> it's gonna be totally. Uh, clear how to uh, 
what materials I used and uh, everything else. But we'll go through making the foam and I'll show you how it works. So uh, if you have an interest in making this foam, these are all uh, 20 aliquot uh, amounts of the silicone. Uh, and I used, in this case, I used uh, both GE type 1 acetoxy cure. So you want to look under container for release of acetic acid. Uh, I used the uh, GE type 1. And I also used the, uh, the DAP, uh, both 100%. So uh, hang in there and uh, if you want to proceed, uh, to watch the the whole process, it'll only take about four or five minutes. So uh, hang in there and enjoy. All right, let's make some foam. Uh, I didn't uh, I didn't weigh these in front of you. I assume you know how to weigh materials. I've got 20 grams of 100% of, uh, GE type 1 silicone and 2 grams of the, of the oil, silicone oil. I'll go over those in a minute. <clears throat> One of the things that I mentioned in the uh, write-up is you want to move along fairly quickly because it, it will begin to set. Quickly, uh, uh, so we need to move. <coughs> now the silicone oil list, that's what this is. Uh, it's available for lubricants. It's available at all hardware stores. and I got mine at Home Depot. They mix really easily. So you're just going to integrate it fairly well. to avoid voids in the future. I'll try and show you as much as I can. <coughs> but you'll get the idea. And 10 grams of baking soda. Right directly in. Standard Tender baking soda. Mix it in fairly well. Doesn't want to uh, seem to have any problem getting in there at all. But you just want to move quickly, that's why. I keep saying that and I'm going to keep saying it. I'll explain a couple of things here uh, as soon as I get done. Okay, that's pretty well, that's pretty well integrated. So now we're ready to add the vinegar. Now it'll begin to foam right away. It's already beginning to, to thicken up. So you add the vinegar. It's going to use the, the baking soda is going to use up the water uh, to help dissolve even better. This now this doesn't this doesn't like it quite as well because obviously it's hydrophobic and uh, so it doesn't like the water. I'm gonna put a little bit of surfactant in just to lower the surface tension. And let it 
let the water get into the uh, into the center of the mix uh, interstitially. It'll wrap and it'll wrap, it'll, it'll make the uh, <coughs> the mix solidify it more quickly. You may wonder why it's turning white uh, when you add the vinegar. It's a two-stage reaction. One is that it forms carbonic acid, which immediately breaks down into water and CO2. The second part of the reaction forms uh, sodium acetate, which is white. So it's going to turn it white. Once you feel like you've you moved quickly enough, and it, it's it's already pretty, it's pretty well. It's rising. This is only twenty grams of of the uh, cock, so it's already in volume in terms. Of Volume is 30, uh, almost doubled. Now we're almost, we're at, we're at about, we're just about done. It's pretty well integrated. So I'm going I'm to go ahead and pour it out onto Teflon. But you can pour it out onto uh, wax paper, uh, parchment paper. Even though it's silicon coated, it'll, it'll release. If there's an excess of water, that's okay. It'll evaporate very quickly. This is really hard to show because it's it's a small container. I don't want to use. And this may be skinned over by the time I, I finish this video. Because uh, I do have one more thing that I want to show, I want to show you. <clears throat> I've got a little bit of a cold, so don't. It's not, but it's not COVID nineteen. So you can form it any way you want to. Wax wax is about the best uh, release agent. Uh, and I have tried thinning this with, as I mentioned in the write-up, with xylene and uh, PMP naphtha. And they really, they really did not, did not work. They made it worse. So there you go. That's how fast it is. And that'll form the, you know, that's the standard formula. So I'm going to take a little pause. Uh, I can answer a lot of the questions in the comment section. Uh, but I think you get the idea. That's, that's really, that's, it'll, it'll continue to form for a little bit more. Uh, but uh, depending on what kind of shape you you want to form this in, 
uh, adds up to you. But this is really a jumping off point. Uh, there are a lot of experiments that you can do uh, to, to, to uh, perhaps make this better. And I'm going to take a pause and I want to show you one more thing uh, before I end the video. But uh, that's how we make the, the standard formula anyway. So stand by. This is the uh, last thing I wanted to show you, is that there is a uh, very very low viscosity material. Uh, it's called flowable sealant, and uh, but the downside is that it's uh, it's about uh, eight. Or, it's about ten dollars. Uh, it's about thirty dollars a tube. This happens to be expired. Somebody gave it to me, uh, which is why I have it. Uh, I. I, I wouldn't buy it. But one thing that it does that I really liked is that it makes a nice lice, makes a nice uh, skin, very thin. Uh, and I'm planning on working on soft robotics. And uh, so for that purpose, it was, I warmed up the Teflon. Uh, this is Teflon. I warmed it up and it really smoothed up really nicely. So that's that's something else. You can do a search and you can find uh, uh, maybe a current version. Uh, and I'll see what... See whether or not this has begun to... This, yeah, this is already... This 30 set on the outside, uh, but it'll should really be 24 hours and let all the water uh, evaporate out of the uh, interstitial areas. But there you go. Uh, if you get a chance and you want to pursue it, give it a, give it a shot. And certainly in the comment section. Uh, it's a free open web source. Uh, my site is completely open source. So as long as you attribute it to me, you can use whatever you want to. Uh, but hey, this is Ken. Thanks an awful lot for watching.